Today, I rise to adjourn in memory of Selma police officer Gonzalo Carrasco, Jr., who was shot and killed on January 31st of 2023. I do this adjournment on behalf of two communities who are stunned by the tragic loss. The city of Reedley, where Gonzalo Carrasco, Jr. was born and grew up, and the city of Selma, where he served to protect the public. He was the first officer to die in the line of duty in Selma since the police department was formed in 1893. Gonzalo Carrasco Jr. was only 24 years old. He was born in Reedley and was the proud son of farm workers. He attended Reedley High School where he played basketball, volleyball, and football, and he also played club soccer. From a young age, Gonzalo Carrasco Jr. dreamed of being a police officer. He applied to the Reedley Police Department's Explorer Program and later attended the College of Sequoia's Tulare Kings County Police Academy in 2020. While he waited for a police officer position to open up, he worked in the fields to help his family. In May of 2021, Gonzalo Carrasco Jr. was sworn in as an officer to the Selma Police Department. Selma and Reedley are close-knit communities. Gonzalo Carrasco Jr.'s death has hit them hard. In addition to being a son and a brother, he was an expectant father and was excited about the impending birth of Gonzalo Carrasco III, who is here today in the gallery. So we mourn, but we also celebrate the impact that Gonzalo Carrasco Jr. has had in his short life. He will be remembered as someone who brought smiles to people's faces, who was brave, who was unselfish, and who was devoted. So we honor Gonzalo Carrasco Jr.'s bravery and devotion to public service. And I want to uplift that at a memorial service in Fresno that was held on February 16th, that thousands of people came out to pay their respects. And a cousin shared this about Gonzalo Carrasco Jr., about what he wrote when he applied to the Reedley Police Explorer Program and why he wanted to be a part of it. And so I quote, I want to make my community better than how I found it. Not just for my own benefit, but for everyone else too. Let us send our prayers and condolences to Gonzalo Carrasco Jr.'s family, to the Selma Police Department, and to the communities of Selma and Reedley. Hoy pido a mis compañeros de Asamblea, que conmemoremos la memoria de oficial Gonzalo Carrasco Jr., quien murió en el cumplimiento de su deber el 31 de enero de este año. El oficial Carrasco nació en Ridley, California, y era hijo orgulloso de trabajadores campesinos. Creció con el sueño de ser policía para, para proteger a su comunidad y lo logró. Trabajó como policía en el departamento de Selma, California, donde se ganó el respeto de sus compañeros. Agradezco a su familia por estar aquí el día de hoy y lo doy mi más sinceras condolencias. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rambula. And Assemblyman Mathis, you're recognized for your adjournment in memory. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Members, I too rise and ask that we adjourn in the memory of Officer Gonzalo Carrasco, a native son of Reedley. Reedley, for me, is, is where I spent my high school days. And as a combat veteran, I, the respect that I have for our law enforcement that, that protect and serve us at home is of the utmost greatest importance. And, and to lose Officer Carrasco at such an early age is, is really troubling for me. I know that his family is, is up here 
in the gallery with us today. And I know that there's very few words that we can do to provide comfort to all of you. Because he was taken so young. Our community is at a loss. Our entire state grieves with you and your family for this loss. And our thoughts and prayers go out to each of you. Members, I ask that we keep these memories at our forefront as we make decisions. And that we pray and keep the thoughts of this family. The family of Officer Gonzalo Carrasco and our hearts and prayers. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mathis. And as some member Jim Patterson, you're recognized for your adjournment and memory. Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. I, I, I too rise to adjourn in the memory of uh, Officer Carrasco. I went to the funeral ceremony that uh, was referred to, and I joined thousands of others, and it was a dramatic show of love and respect when our convention center was filled with officers from across California and the United States. It was a ceremony filled with love as his family and his community gathered to remember Officer Carrasco as the son, the brother, and the man who was looking forward to the birth of his first child who is here. And members, my faith teaches me that although he is not with us, I think he, his presence is here, and I think that he is hearing from the members that although he's gone from here, his family and his loved ones will be reunited someday together. We know that he's not here, but we do know where he is. And Officer Carrasco's life gave hope to his family as he went from dreaming about being a police officer to working for the Selma Police Department. And at such a young age, he made such an impression out in the field with his other officers. And um, I join uh, all the members here. Uh, we hope and pray that the profound and the un unimaginable sadness his family has been feeling can be lifted somewhat when they think of the joy that Gonzalo brought to them and to his brothers and his sisters in blue. His memory will live in our midst and the midst of his loved ones and co-workers. And we should be thinking at times like this when someone so young and someone who was so good at what he did and so much joy that he, he will be missed. But we need to think about the question, how then should we live in his memory? And to think about his generosity and his faith, his love of family, his hard work and his determination. May that be our thoughts about how we live our lives, especially in this particular building. He will be missed. His service and his sacrifice, though, will never, ever be forgotten. And in the words of Scripture, well done, good and faithful servant. You have entered into the joy of your Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Patterson. And Dr. Ramula, you are recognized for a guest introduction associated with your adjournment in memory. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to recognize many of the family and co-workers for Officer Gonzalo Carrasco Jr. who joined us here today. I'll begin and ask that you stand up when I call your name, please. Uh, Sergeant Alejandro Alvarez, who was a colleague of Officer Carrasco. Alma Ordez, who is the sister of Officer Car Carrasco. Antonio Rosales, who is the brother-in-law of Officer Carrasco. Christopher Carrasco, the, also a brother, Edwin uh, Macias, a brother-in-law of Officer Carrasco, Gonzalo Carrasco, the father of Officer Carrasco, Julio Martinez, the cousin of Officer Carrasco, Carla Alvarez, the partner of Officer Carrasco, 
Gonzalo Carrasco III, who Carla is holding right now. Martha Salgado, the cousin of Officer Carrasco. Paula Carrasco, the sister of Officer Carrasco. Dalia Salgado, the cousin. And Veronica Duenas, the mother of Officer Carrasco. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me to introduce them and welcome them here to our capital. Thank you, Dr. Rambula.